next to each other like the way they are. Yeah. Okay. No Morgan Renekton. Meanwhile, okay. Baker's just getting a, a closer look. Is it blind pick? I, I guess Dante. so. Three bands into blind pick. Yeah, it must be. It must be blind pick. Wukong plus Malphite. Difficult to like get the context of. <laughs> I think they're talking about the items yeah. in a wrap. Yeah, they're like, oh, what, like what item is here? <laughs> like, yeah, because you think. have obviously a lot of more gold. So like, oh, this is here. Like, oh, okay, you can do this. Like, but we don't know what the necessarily that we're referring to. But see what Malphite buys here at level three with the extra gold he has. Looks like it's just gonna be last. Chapter. Weren't there some big a ram changes on this patch? I am not Peters. an a ram guy, so I, I, that's not my expertise now. Oblivion Orb seems like a wise call. He <laughs> he's late to lane. Maybe it's a strat. Okay, here he is. Here's Peter. So, first turret blood. Sudden death starts after seven minutes. Um, and then I believe the other win condition, the first one, is two kills. This is what it says there in Korean. It was missing in the English translation for some reason. But two kills to win. Or if you destroy the turret, and sudden death begins at seven minutes. I think they're AFK ults. <laughs> I think they just want to wait for ults. I think that's what they're trying to do is just, like, farm up level six. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, skirmishing power, not going to be... Potentially as great here on the side of the Malphite and the Wukong, but they have fantastic matchup potentially. In these two games, right? It's just like stay away. Like gold doesn't really matter. Um, it's just like stay away from Jovi's, you know, bush range. Pretty much. And then farm up level six, and then yeah. maybe they can have an ult combo. Either gonna try to heal. Yeah. Try not to lose your turret. You know, make a stand at your turret if you can. Actually, decent damage for Chovy there onto two players versus the trade back yeah. onto one. It feels like uh, Malphi certainly struggles a little bit with the mana. I, I would like for him to not use everything before. Uh, okay, there it is, by the way, right in the top right. There is the full uh, win conditions. Yep. That was pretty long. <laughs> Chovy just yeah, rank popping rank over. He's wise, man. Wings. Yeah, he's like a flying squirrel. He's there's like Buzz yeah, Lightyear, like falling does. with style out yeah. of the bush. <laughs> kind of does. He uses his blades to glide. I don't know. Uh oh, uh oh, that was an overextension, or maybe a bait. The ignite came out. Buzz has to back away. Peter has almost no mana. This is looking yeah. really bad. Same thing, and like they don't have any wave there, right? So eventually they have to go in. There's the dive. Morgan tanks it up. Toby not quite able to put in the damage, but it's still a good free for the side of Team Death. Or rather, they're all team deft. Morgan and Toby. All right, get some back off. Well, ult available here for Morgan. So Peter is like, "Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna leave." But they might just lose their turret, uh, which would be the oh, end. Yeah. This is why I was saying like, money doesn't necessarily matter because if you back, I mean, you're gonna lose so much here. And what you won't you won't regain that same value. Notice the CS numbers here are much higher for Morgan and Chovy as well. They're sitting on a lot more money. I mean, especially Chovy. Like he's 900 gold ahead. Let me get some sustain with the Sage and also the Bracer. Like, I think unless I mean this is just my weird theory because I, I I'm not trying to act like I know exactly how this two people. Give us the hard hitting this. analysis. But I think unless. They get a nice Wukong Malphite ult combo off as Peter hits six here. Like, I just don't know how you win this one. Yeah. They could try to burst Tovi, maybe. I, I think he would be less sneaky than the Cassante at this point. Even just looking at the items. And if you don't do that, then you might eventually get worn down here under turret as Cousin Peter. They do have wave advantage for now. And this is going to force Chovy into awkward spot where he has no rush. And this is where it gets a little bit awkward for the Rengar, right? Because he can't operate with rush here defending turret only if he has control of the lane. Oh, look at this combo. There's the ult into Cuz, but he immediately goes into his clone. So 
did again a nice trade for now, but are they going to get much more? There's the old combo coming out from the side of Cousin Peter, but the damage is not quite there. They don't layer it quite well, and Morgan is still getting huge trades out of the Wukong, but no, the knock up on the Jovi as he tries to come in. This is looking pretty good for Cousin Peter now as Cuz is able to survive. Yeah, that last tick of the Wukong ultimate stopping Chovy in his tracks really hurts, but the all-in just so unsuccessful here, they don't quite have enough damage. Chovy's not able to harass beforehand without that brush. And this is going to be a really nice advantage here for Cousin Peter. Now, it's not that you have to kill both of them, if I understand correctly. It's just first two kills. So if Chovy dies here, that's the end of it. And he wants to hold control of this brush. If he backs right now, they're going to have the same problem where the minions push through and he won't keep control of this bush. So he's trying to, despite the low health bar here, I think try to push this wave in so that when he returns, he'll actually have maybe the ability to come over here. Maybe he needs like 50 more gold as well. Could be like in an awkward spot. He's just going to stay, but take a look at the items now on the side of Peter especially. I mean, he is a thick malphite. <laughs> All right, at least they got the brush. Malphite ult really long cooldown here. Morgan's going to have his first, so I mean, they got control of the wave. They can try to wear down this turret. This is actually really interesting. Yeah. Like, I'm actually enjoying this way more than I thought. I'm like, all right, let's <laughs> figure this one out. Yeah. They're just slow pushing this wave. They're trying to build up as big of a wave as possible. And if, I mean, they're pretty close, right? They're not going to stick around, though. Okay, so uh, not going to be the wing condition just yet. I think this, the the problem for this is that Chovy once again going to lose control of his Where's the timer? <laughs> Where are we at in Oh, this yeah, game? that's a good question. I'd like to know what time it is in the game. Yeah, the in-game timer. We don't know. It might be covered by the, one of the options below to win. <laughs> or covered by the top overlay. I don't know where it is in this. But uh, certainly as it is one of the win conditions would be nice. Uh, we're we're going to know by the giant circle that does uh, begin to close in. Yeah. As, by the way, it has started. So, <laughs> here we go. We don't need the timer. We can just see it on the map beginning you to close in. You willed it into existence. Yeah, I'm like, by the way, <laughs> this is a thing. They're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's get this circle. I was just so mesmerized. I was like, I don't want the time to ever happen. I just want to know who can kill the turret or whatever. Okay. So it's sudden death now. So it's whoever dies first. I, is my understanding. I, I think that I the, so. the two kills doesn't really matter now. It's just I now mean, here we go. dies first. Circle's coming in. There it is. Nice knock up. This could be their opportunity. Ignite is in onto Peter. But again, he's just so tanky. Down to half. They've saved their stuff for now as over the top they go. Really nice layering up the combo this time. They're trying to get onto Morgan. He's so incredibly low and down he will go. That is win to Cuz and to Peter. What a really interesting matchup we saw. And the ring bars.